So as we continue on with train 45, this will be the fourth break, and we'll uh, break it into two uh, sessions, part one and part two, so this will be part one. But we'll play the whole uh, 16 measure break to start. And uh, this break has two or three pretty interesting licks in it, and to be able to string these together in one break will require a lot of effort because you uh, you nail one and then you have to shift to the other one. So uh, here's what it sounds like. break. Uh, we'll pull the phone back just a little bit so you can just see the banjo. Okay, so the first uh, eight measures will uh, start like this. So three, four, and it's, uh, if you have the book, Banjo Songs, it's, uh, here's what the book looks like. There it is. If you have that book, or if you want to get the book, it does have two audio CDs in it to make uh, make a little easier to learn. But anyway, so on page 93, measure 49 goes 3, 4. Okay, then measure uh, 50 goes. Okay, and measure 51 goes 3, 4. Okay. So we'll play measures 49 through 52. One, two, three, four. All right. Then we go to measure 53, and this is another one of those off time uh, licks where you play a note and then you start the lick actually on the, I'm going to call it, if you, if you think of uh, a measure as having eight banjo notes in it, so this would start on the third note. So generally the lick would sound like this. But we're putting in the fifth string and then we go. Okay, so let's do that again. Three, four. Okay, and then uh, measure 54 goes 3, 4. Okay, now this break keeps keep shifting like crazy. So then 55 goes. Okay, so I'm going to do measure 52 through 55. So here we go. 3, 4. Okay, and it's going to get even crazier here. So, okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll go ahead and add the eighth measure, which is 56. And that goes three, four. Now I'll play measures 55 and 56. And here we go. So we go three, four. I'll play that again. Three, four. Okay. Now I'll play measures 49 through 56, which is the first eight measures of break four. And here we go. One, two, three, four. So that, that should do it, and I'll play the whole break once again, and here we go. One, two, three, four.
Okay. This break has about four shifts in it, and a shift occurs when you go from one lick, and then you have to set up completely differently for another lick. So, in order to master this lick, you'll have to master not only the lick parts of it, or this break, the licks, but you'll have to master the transition from one lick to the next. In other words, uh, if I am playing uh, measure 55, uh, and I go three, four, then all of a sudden, starting on measure 57, I have to shift and play this like and then I go to 61 and then I have to does that make sense okay so that's the uh, part one of break four